Morning. Morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I brought you breakfast in bed. Did you? Yeah, I love you. Happy Valentine's Day, Arthur. Arthur doesn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't love me? You don't want to be my Valentine? Mm hmm? No, thank you. Although, actually, now I want it. He's like, what's that? <laughs> You do want to be my valentine. Yay. Oh. Morning. You eating your breakfast now? What about this one? What about that one, Arthur? Nope, don't like that one. That one bad. Yum, yum. Man, I'd hate to be a dog. I get sick of having the same food every single day. Do you get sick of it, Archer? Probably not. That's mm. gonna be to Scott from you. Oh yeah? That's my Valentine to Scott? Yeah. This is bromance? Yeah. What does it say below it? That's how we roll. That's, that's how we roll? Yeah. It's how we roll. <laughs> yeah. If I had glasses, yeah, that'd totally be me and Scott. Yep. <laughs> What's this one? I'm positively batty for you. That's Conrad. Okay. This is all from Hannah. Hannah is not a boy's name. Hannah is not a boy's name. What's that? What's this? This box is just an excuse to be at your door. I like that one. You are very suave. I like that one a lot. What about this one? I'm addicted to you. Thanks for nothing. That's Doc. I like him. It's Doc. Okay. Mm -hmm. Messages are best when kept simple. And it's a heart. Or a less than three. Yeah. <laughs> Till death to us part. And a heart. That's my Valentine to Scott. This one? Yeah. Aw. How about this one? Let me count the ways that I love you. And 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 that's Hannah. That's Hannah, yeah. That's Hannah. Let me patch your broken heart, lovely. <laughs> and that's Doc again. Yep. These ones are funny. I've asked me pretty strike your panties and prepare to be boarded. <laughs> Interesting. Fifteen miles to the love shack. <laughs> and then you can't see it on this one. Oh. But there's hearts in his... In the trail jacket. of his jacket. Yeah. And then that's a heart too, but... Oh, uh, yeah. I like that. Bang, bang, you're mine. I would die for you. No, really. It's a ghost. Mm. Time means not to us. Tick -tock, tick -tock. Cool. So those are your Valentines? And the two I gave Rachel. Oh, yeah, the two you already gave to Rachel. Yeah. Those are my Valentines. I can't pick one I'm giving to Sean. You, you can't figure out which, you can't narrow it down. I want to give you that one, and that one, <laughs> and these ones because they're funny. Well, it's Valentine's Day, and you know what that means. We need to watch romantic movies. So, well, I guess we're going to watch this one first. It's probably, you know, fitting. I've seen it before. This is pretty good. Valentine's Day. Vantaline's Day. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's... What is it? Let's make a date. It's day 358. Let's make a date. It's day 358. That's on the back of your Valentine's gave you. Yeah, Lydia gave me some Valentines. From the Valentines. You good? <laughs> this is how we're going to watch the movie. <laughs> comfy. Are you comfy? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, good. Aren't you come here? Come on, Arthur. Go with, no. Oh. Arthur's not going to me. Arthur, come here. No, Arthur.
Arthur, I have food for you. Arthur, come to me. No. Come to me. Arthur, come here. Oh, You're a jerk. Happy Valentine's Day. I just gave you that. Yeah, but in editing, if I put my clip before yours, then it'll look like you're the one who's... You're mean. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Did you go out and buy that specifically for me? Yeah. Thanks. You're bundling up? Yeah. I need to get my hat. Are we going to go play out in the snow? Yeah, the deadly snow. Lydia wants to go play in the snow. Hello? So, we're going to go play in the snow. message from the person on the outside. I can't even really hear, read it. <coughs> and then the second is from the person from the inside. So it's backwards for them. Oh, so it says I love you. To the person outside. Oh. You love I? Yes, I love <gasps> I. You love I too. Oh, you love I. So, how did the two of you meet? Well, I'll start then. Um, I had one husky dog and I was a member of the husky dog club in the area and they were holding a dance at the Prince Albert Community Hall in order to raise funds for the races in the wintertime. So I went and then Clayton ended up sitting at the same table as I did and Don knows where they introduced us. Mm -hmm. Now, I, my reason for there was completely different. Um, I was a young man known for my ability to drink and consume alcohol, and I was invited to the dance strictly for the purpose of making money for the club, because I would drink. And I went off, and I sat down at this table of married couples with one single girl who was beside me, who I really was very interested in right off, but I was very shy. So it took a couple of beers to get up the courage to speak to her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so being, trying to be polite, I asked him what he did for a living. And he told me he was a private investigator. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, ah, ha, 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 and I hit the table in my boisterous laugh that I have. And because just in that moment at the television, on the television at the time was Mannix, Remington Steel, Magnum PI. Magnum PI. All these private investigators who were very handsome, <laughs> dashing, and that's what when when he said private investigator, that's what I thought he was trying to portray himself. <laughs> so he was trying to be like Magnum PI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what he did was he he looked so hurt, and then I felt bad that I hurt his feelings. He pulled out his little uh, license that said private investigator and security guard. <laughs> <laughs> to had, prove that he was I had a dual license in those days mm -hmm. and then we started to dance and what day was it? it was October the 2nd 1982 so the next thing he did he did not ask me for my address or phone number he just asked if he could call me so he was proving that he could be a private investigator meanwhile his friend Don knows that, he, that asked him to come I knew Don and all he had to do was ask Don, but anyway, so he did call me. And some then some good to Star Trek. Trek. Right? He took her to Star Trek? The following Saturday. We had Swiss Chalet for lunch mm -hmm. and went to an afternoon movie because at that time I worked 12 hour days. So. And I was on shift, so I was working the evening shift. So I took her to lunch and then we went to a movie and then I took her home and I had to go back to work. And the one thing I remember about that day, you were very tall, and I had high heels on that day. And I, was I had to ask him to please throw, slow down and walk with me because I couldn't keep up with him. <laughs> <laughs> In the high heels, trying to keep up to his long strides. So we purchased our first home on January the 7th, 1983. I moved in into on March 23rd, and on the 21st of May, we got married. So from October the 2nd to the 21st of May, about seven and a half months. And you got engaged in 82 days? 82 days. 
It's been 82 days since the night of my dreams. A candle of light was so it would seem. I wrote her a poem. I was very poetic. I know. <laughs> so, still in love today? Very much so. She's precious to me. She's my precious. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. This is what I made for Lydia on the picnic table. <laughs> ah! Too bright. Give me a little light operator. So you can see it. Although it's not actually that dark out. I love you. Arthur. I love Arthur. 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 Are delicious they, chocolate cupcakes. Are they delicious? They are delicious. <laughs> this thing is the bane of my existence. I can't do it. Not well. I have a normal can opener at my house. It doesn't help that I'm holding the camera. Put it here though. I got it, I got it. There's crap all over it. Does it like hook onto something? No. You just put it there. Yes. It doesn't do anything. You're cute. You're cute. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. That's it. I quit. I quit life. No. Quit life. No. Don't be such a drama queen. I'm not being a drama queen. <sighs> Maybe a little. Happy Valentine's Day. There's a to heart with you. cheese. Happy Valentine's Day to you. And this is our evening. <laughs> I have cool stuff. Yeah, what did you even put in your thing? It's got that and that and that and that. Fruit punch, cream soda, Coke, and Raspberry, Raspberry vodka. vodka. Look it. It looked a lot cooler when I first did it. Fanciful. Can I ruin your heart? No, I'll just You fill already it in. did. Because I filled it with love. And cheese. Yeah. Lydia's taking over the whole world. Yeah. We just played Risk. Lydia won. Well, Lydia, Everybody Lydia, we. <laughs> Rachel tired. was Rachel Everybody. was falling asleep, so we decided to end the game. But Lydia was ahead, so Lydia won. I'm gonna defend against alien forces. Oh yeah. Are the aliens coming? For you? I guess all the aliens are attacking Argentina, or or not? They're all attacking Russia. So that's where you've got the most defense. Where do aliens attack? Um, in terms of if you've seen movies? Yeah. America. <laughs> or, or London. That's pretty much it. It's either anywhere in the United States or London. Lydia rules the world. Pretty much how it works. That's that's my Valentine's Day gift to you. The world. I gave you the world. 
I'm just gonna keep Canada. <laughs> just keep in Canada. Yeah, I'll just keep Ontario. Nobody can defeat me. Nobody. All right, it's been a long day. Time to get some sleep. So, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Alidia. Happy Valentine Love Day, Sean. Happy Valentine's Day, Arthur. Happy Love Day, Sean. Happy Valentine's Day, Sean. I was doing it for oh. you. Oh, sorry. Okay. Arthur has two voices. Apparently. <laughs> so, alright. Happy Valentine's Day. Love, love. Love, love. Good night.